Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice and welcome to our daily reading. Something Phil. Okay. Um Hope you're doing well. As always, keep in mind take what resonates as resonates with you. Check out any other video on the channel. On that note, you've got a weekly posted, you've got monthlies posted. I did the by element this month. So hopefully you find those helpful, watch all your placements, and I will link those playlists in the description below and at the end of the video if I can remember. <laughs> um, all right, let's jump in and see what we've got going on. Still the energy and advice for my subscribers, Six of Cups, and it could be reminiscing, it could be nostalgia, it could be catching up with people you love or people you haven't seen or spoken to in a while. It could also be um, making memories, uh, focus on happiness, healing, harmony with the number six. Okay. Oracle energy and advice for my subscribers for the day. All right, so let's see what we got going on. So the first card representing the influence of the past on our current situation, what has happened before, what is happening as you're coming into the reading or coming into the day. We have the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles can talk about communication, news, invitation, opportunity. Uh, it could be job related, finance related. It could also be to do with studies, any sort of studies or training course or program. Um, this could also be money you paid for an application, for a ticket, okay, it could be that. Um, it could be small gifts made, received, exchanged. In today's energy, we have the King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy could be significant as an energy, the King of Swords. It can talk about an authority figure. It can talk about an official decision being made, a ruling, um, a significant conversation with a figure of authority. So this could be you applied for something and today you have the interview. Um, you submitted something, presented something, and today you're getting the feedback. That could also be the case. Or it is um, you've sat an exam, today you get the results, that could also be the case. Oh my God, look, where things are headed, we have the star. So excellent feedback, wonderful results, wish fulfillment, happiness, your hopes are fulfilled. So whatever the situation is about, it's a very, very positive outcome. Yeah, so it seems like a small offer, something small being put forward, could also be someone wearing their heart on their sleeve, okay, in this energy. Leads to a conversation, a meeting, an interview, a review of sorts. Um, and that leads to a yes answer, a green light, positive results, wish fulfilled, whatever that is. This is cool. In the Oracle, we have 43, setting up parameters. Assess your relationships and determine how they are aligned with your goals. Setting boundaries requires an honest evaluation of your present relationships, and that could be personal, professional, romantic, whatever the case may be. So 43, it's at number seven, the number of truth, knowledge, also boundaries. And with the King of Swords, that could be what this is. This could have been discussing terms and conditions. This could have been discussing expectations within a commitment, within a partnership, within a relationship. Um, from a very cool, calm, rational, factual uh, perspective and approach, all right? So not all over the place, not very emotional, uh, not very triggering, reactive, not too emphatic or, you know what I mean? Just a very, literally like you're discussing terms and conditions of a contract, negotiating terms and condi conditions of a contract of, of that works for me, that doesn't work for me, what can we do about that? Just a very matter of fact type of conversation that leads to healing, that leads to success, that leads to whatever it is you wanted to get out of the situation, okay? Um, but yeah, also coming up, promises made, commitments made, 
um, under the Synergy documents, paperwork being signed, approved, you're reviewing potentially an offer that was put forward. Maybe uh, you, you're sitting down with an advisor, or you're sitting down with a, a legal person, or you're sitting down with someone who's got a lot of knowledge and expertise here, and they're helping you just review everything, make sure everything's in order, make sure everything's right, everything's fair, right? And then you can go ahead and say yes and accept whatever this is. Okay. Um, let's look at your... Oh, I totally forgot. I was going to do pick a card for fortune cookies. <laughs> Here we go. I just had a flashback. All right, pick a card. Pick one, two, or three, or you can pick two numbers. You can choose to receive messages from all numbers. These can be quite literal. Oh my God, I totally forgot. Okay, so let's see. For my subscribers, fortune cookie messages, one, two, or three. One, two, and three. So at the bottom of the deck, we have reinvent yourself, and that's going to tie into the reading. A transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. So yeah, new lease, new contract, new commitment, reinventing yourself or reinventing a partnership, a commitment, a relationship, redefining it. Okay? That's pretty cool, though. Or as a part of you um, completing something, graduating something, achieving a goal, achieving a milestone, um, you're now receiving this offer, this opportunity, because you've already retrained, reinvented, re changed something about you to elevate, right? So let's see, if you chose number one, we have jealousy. Watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature to reconnect and replenish. And again, these are gonna be literal and they're going to be for you to take in and interpret could be linked to the reading doesn't have to be number two we have sexuality existing relationships could find a new passion and heighten sexual attraction opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong but if single beware of temptation that could lead to trouble a child will also bring great joy there's elements of this that we do see in the reading but again, it could be something separate. And if you chose number three, care required. Guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. So this is just saying take precautions, double check facts. I mean, it's for you to interpret, okay? It's nothing nefarious, nothing uh, heinous, heinous, but um, take it for what it's worth, okay? With whatever it is that you've got going on. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you resonate with the ring if you do. Um, I hope it helps you. Have a fantastic day. Check out um, your monthlies, your week ahead, any other video you wanna check out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.